Hello folks. You know, back in 1958, at age 10, I got my first nitro-powered airplane. It was a Cox PT-19. It was U-Control and was held together with rubber bands. I flew it a lot and later on, by the time I was 12, I was flying in Yuki contests and won my first trophy with the Vico Junior Thunderbird. Well, those contests were actually judged on wing overs, three inside loops, three outside loops, inverted flight, horizontal eights, vertical eights, square loops, and square eights, all done at the end of a 60 foot long stainless steel lines. Well, after winning a few trophies, I was totally hooked. This is my Whitman Buster. I used to fly that uh, for balloon bus in the uh, Yugi contest. And then I had two full-size Vico Thunderbirds that I flew in contest, the blue one and the red one. I had the red one for quite a while until it got burned up in the fire recently. I even flew Yuki in Vietnam during R&R and later in Japan where models were abundant. These are just some of the Yukis that I flew in a few of my older videos. Well then when I returned to the States I began flying RC and have ever since. This was my first RC plane back in 1970. It's a Vico Cherokee. It had a Merco 49 engine on it with two glow plugs. Of course later on I became obsessed with the Lou Andrews Aero Masters like this orange one. And after that, I've flown just about every other kind of thing you can think of. One-bladed helicopters with hammers on them and uh, no-tail rotor helicopters and, of course, my UFOs. I actually had a really good collection of Cox Yuki planes that were destroyed in the fire, but not a PT-19. I was always drawn to that plane, even in the beginning, because my father was a flight instructor on the PT-19 when he was in the Army Air Force back in the 40s. I actually had a beautiful PT-19 and also a brand new one in a box, all balsa, built up and uh, with a four-stroke engine on it. It was a great flyer, of course, lost in the fire. It's a lot of work to build another one, so I'm just going to go back to my roots. After flying my tiny UFO with the Cox 049, I got a little nostalgic and I began searching for another PT-19. I found a brand new one still in the box on eBay. So I bought it but decided actually not to build and fly it because it is brand new and I want to keep it that way. What I decided to do was find an older one which I also did on eBay. I decided that before I fly it with the nitro engine, probably this summer, I would try to convert it to electric today. Well, to do that required putting a battery, speed controller with DEC and receiver inside the plane. I mounted a transmitter to my belt and decided to try the first flight at Donovan's yesterday where everybody got to fly my tethered T28 too. So here's a little bit of that and the PT-19 test flight. I might give it a shot. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, John, you're on, man. Well, yeah, just punch it up and...
<laughs> Good job. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm going to fly that PT-19 down there with electric U-control. I haven't done this in many years. Let's see if this works and I don't hit the walls. Turn on my head cam. Start recording. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Not used to that. Huh? Okay, so I need a I need a 11.1 battery. I didn't bring one. So. Okay. Okay, seven degrees out here this morning, folks. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Well, thanks a lot for joining me at Mr. Herbert Science Class. Please stay tuned as this spring I'm going to fly this with the nitro engine. Coming up next is all the helicopters I flew at the Donovan's indoor fly-in and a couple other things. <laughs>